appreciate the Lord tonight. I am blessed by the day. Yes. I am going today so much. Good to see the Houston the folks. It's always him. Good to see the folks back here. The Dudley, the I appreciate the Lord so much. I thank you for helping us last night. Yes, Jimmy. Yes, I believe he can help us again if we just oh, call yes. 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 Be sure yes. Let him have his way. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God so much for calming my troubled waters. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. My ship was on life's ocean, drifting with the wind. Drifting with the wind. No rudder to guide it with, just at the mercy of my slave driver, oh, which is Satan. But I found a refuge. Right. And that's what we're running right here tonight at Little Clock Holiness Church. A refuge. It's a slave refuge. Yes. Years ago, back in the Civil War days, when the slaves were running away from their taskmasters, they had slave refuges along the Mississippi River and different places. And if they could make it to that refuge, they were safe. And Jesus has set up a refuge for all saints yes. to run into. Yeah. It's never too late at night. All right. You're never in too much trouble. Right. The storm is never too great. That's right. To run to this slave refuge with Jesus oh. set up right. with his own God. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. I thank God I found my way to that yes. slave refuge. Yes. Had my soul washed in the blood of Jesus. The sweetest man that ever lived. Yes. Jesus Christ himself, begotten by God, God's yes. only son, yes. sent down from heaven above, oh, yes. took my sins upon his shoulders, and held him to a tree. Yes. There he died alone, that I may be free oh, yes. of the condemnation of sin, yes. which is death. My, 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 how many stories have been told about the little slave refuges across the country. So many Christians was so deep in sin. No one to turn to. No one to help them. That's the reason we have so many suicides. So many broken homes today. They don't have nothing to turn to. Don't have no hope. I feel so sorry for the young folks of this day. I have friends back home. Tonight at 6 o'clock, they probably got their car driving down a little four lane highway and going home. Just a small town. Just a one town in millions of towns in the United States. And they're all doing it. Them young folks don't have nothing to do. That's right, Jim. They're blinded by Satan. That's right. They're slaves to sin. Slaves to sin. We're the only folks that can get the word to them oh, and pull them out of sin. Right? Through Jesus Christ, we have a work to do. Right. I think a lot of us are not doing as much as we should be doing. All right. A lot of, most all of our churches aren't full. I really don't know of one church. Even our big homeless churches, they're not full. There's a work for us to do. There's young folks out there yearning for something. Yes. And Jesus will calm their troubled water. Yes, he will. If we can just get the story to them. Yes. And if we can pray to God to have enough anointing to get through that thick skull, yes. through that thick crust of sin, yes. get past that sin, get to that soft spot in their heart. Everybody has a soft spot. Yes. Even the hardest criminals have a soft spot yes. in their heart. Yes. If we just plant a little seed of Jesus in there, it will grow. It will grow. Y'all help me with saying, He will calm the trouble of That's the That's I love one. that song. He will calm the trouble of the your soul.
Thank you, Jesus. Broken homes have been put back together. Praise God. Young folks have been reconciled with their parents. Yes. When they run away, yes. just in the name of Jesus, he'll calm your troubled water. Yes, he will. Give your heart to him when you're discouraged. Things ain't going right, just turn it over to him. Yes. He's the greatest problem solver. Yes, he is. He's the greatest trouble shooter. Yes. He knows all about it. You don't need a psychologist. Right. You don't need a counselor. Right. All you need is Jesus. Jesus. Right. Yes. He's the greatest he is the great counselor. Yes. He knows all things. Yes. Yes. He knows our hearts. He's a reader of our hearts. Oh, he oh, he the hairs God. of our head are numbered. Yes. He knows all about it. And God understands. Right. All we got to do is turn it over to him. Y'all pray for me. That's it.